In this example, we are looking for the Bode plot of the function g of s equals to 10 over s squared. The Bode plot will display the magnitude and the phase of g of s when s is equal to j omega, omega being the frequency that we are going to limit here to 10 to the power of negative 2 to 10 to the power of 2 radians per second. The magnitude will be shown in decibels, that is 20 log of 10 over s squared. This can be written as 20 log of 10 plus 20 log of 1 over s plus 20 log of 1 over s. And this is equal to 20 log of 10 plus 40 log of 1 over s. Because of this log property that we can split this multiplication into sums, we can now use these building blocks to start the Bode plot. First, represent the Bode plot of a constant gain, then take the Bode plot of 1 over s, a pole at the origin, and simply add them together to get the Bode plot of g of s. Or we could instead use these three elements here, but the two of them are equal. We see that we have 20 log of 1 over s, squared which is 20 log of 1 which is equivalent to 20 log of 1 over s plus 20 log of 1 over s or 40 log of 1 over s let's just start with the constant again 20 log of 10 log of 10 is 20 this gives simply 20 and this is for all frequencies so 20 decibels for all frequencies is simply a straight line that represents that a constant gain here The next element is 40 log of 1 over s. There is two poles at the origin. A single pole at the origin would result in a line that decays by 20 decibels per decade. That is, every time you multiply the frequency here by a factor of 10, the Bode plot would go down by 20 decibels. But here, because you have two poles at the origin, and because of this property that we have here, we can see that now this slope becomes simply 40 decibels per decade. Let's start where the frequency is 1 radians per second, that is 10 to the power of 0. At 1 radians per second, 40 log of 1 is simply 0, so that would result in a point right here, 0 dB. If you now increase the frequency by a factor of 10, that is now we go to 10 to the power of 1, then the magnitude needs to decay by 40 decibels. So the magnitude at 1 radians per second is negative 40 dB. If we now go the other way, we go back to 10 to the power of negative 1, there is 0.1 radians per second. Compared to 0, the magnitude now increases by 40 decibels. So here we are at 0, we go back by a factor of 10 in the frequency, and the slope now goes up by 40 decibels. So at 10 to the power of 1, it should be at 40 decibels. And if you go now to 10 to the power of negative 2, there is again a factor of 10 compared to the previous frequency. So at 10 to the power of negative 1, we are at positive 80 decibels. And here we have the slope that decays by 40 decibels per decade. That is, every time the frequency increases by a factor of 10, the Bode plot goes down by a factor of 40 decibels. And every time you now decrease the frequency by a factor of 10, the Bode plot goes up by 40 decibels. And here you have the curve for 1 over s squared and the curve for 10. What would be the frequency at 10 to the power of 2? Well, if the 10 to the power of 1, we are at negative 40 dB. At 10 to the power of 2, this curve should be at negative 80 decibels. So these are the two building blocks that are coming from this equation. What is the final Bode plot for the function g of s. Because of this log property here that allowed us to split the to split the 20 log of 10 over s squared into two components and write them individually, now we can simply add them up according to this expression here, and the addition is now the Bode plot of g of s. So let's do that. Let's just start with 10 to the power of 0. At 1 radians per second, this curve is at 0 decibels and this curve is at 20 decibels. So at 1 radians per second, 0 plus 20 is 20 decibels. 
at 10 to the power of 1, we are at negative 40 plus 20, that is negative 20 decibels, so around here. At 10 to the power of 2, we would be a negative 80 dB plus 20, that would be negative 60. Still out of range, we should be around here, negative 60. Going to 10 to the power of negative 1, we have 20 plus 40, that is 60, around here. And 10 to the power of negative 2, 20 plus 80, that is 100 dB, should be around there. And this is now the Bode plot for the function g of s. We simply have the Bode plot of 1 over s squared that is shifted up by 20 decibels that comes from this gain of 10 in the transfer function. Now, what is the phase for this transfer function? We simply have two poles at the origin. So we know that the phase is negative 180 degrees. Well, let's calculate that. We have two elements. We have the phase on the denominator and the phase in the denominator. The phase of this transfer function would be the arc tangent of this part here, the real part 0 divided by the imaginary part 10, minus now the phase of the poles. The phase of the pole, if you now replace s with j omega, we have two poles. We have the arc tangent of imaginary part, which is omega divided by the real part 0, minus the arc tangent of the second pole, same omega divided by 0. Now we can plot these two values here. It starts with the constant gain. We have a magnitude of 10 in the real part, and we have a magnitude of 0 in the imaginary part. So the angle here is the angle between this line and the real axis, 0. Now let's do the poles at the origin. For the poles at the origin, we have a magnitude on the imaginary axis of omega and a magnitude on the real axis of zero. So the angle is here, and this is 90 degrees. But because these are poles, we have a negative sign, so we have negative 90 degrees for each. And this is negative 180 degrees for all frequencies. If you now go to the body plot and plot the phase, this is simply a constant. A constant value of negative 180 degrees for all frequencies.